I think the secret of my success with observation of many of the faint fuzzies, nebulas, and deep sky objects was that um, I put this uh, celestron, or you can use meat. Meat one is a little bit, I noticed, is too more, shows the prime, secondary mirror too much. But the celestron one is all right. And if you use Antares, that will be also all right. This focal reduced actually made the field of view wider. So, um, um, when I'm looking at the faint fuzzies, which are, you know, big, uh, I mean, can be up to two, three degrees in the case of the Andromeda galaxy. Uh, if you look at with a narrow field of view, you will not see the contrast between the darkness of the sky and the f brightness of the faint fuzzies. So this actually increased the field of view and I could see, discern them against the background of the sky. And I think that was the secret for that. This was really good. Get a, a focal reducer to use with. Uh, of course, uh, you can remove this if you want to, for planetary viewing. It probably is better to remove it or use a Barlow or a low magnification lens just to uh, see the more details that is visible in the case of the planetary objects like Jupiter and Saturn, which are now in the sky. And uh, for other things, for, for very wide objects like the faint fuzzies, nebula clusters and all the things, it's better to have the focal reducers. We have a, almost two degrees here. Yeah. This is a this is ten millimeter. I had a forty millimeter last night and this. Forty millimeter and with this uh, focal reducer the widest possible field of view was around two two degrees, which is really good for four uh, uh, moon widths you could see. And that's the secret I think to using this comfortably with the uh, good amount of the visibility.